What's happening guys? Today I have an unboxing and a first impressions video on a pair of boxing gloves that I've been asked to do a review on. These are the Phantom El Kukui firing gloves in 16 ounces. Now Phantom Unboxing have asked me to do a review on these, but I did pay for these gloves myself. They did give me a little bit of a discount that I can share with everyone right now. If you type this down, then you can save yourself 10%. Now the gloves themselves are already pretty cheap, so if you want to save yourself a little bit extra on top of that, code below. Anyways, let's open this up. Oh. Yeah. Now I don't have a knife on me. The closest thing I have right now is a Santa Jam Spreader. Should be sharp enough, hopefully. Oh my god, maybe not. Oh, maybe it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty frustrating to use, so I'll just open. Get enough. So these are the gloves. Come in a nice little bag. Now I did mention that these are 16 ounces. On their website, all they had was 14 ounces, but I did tell them that I don't spar in 14 ounces, so I can't really do a review on these gloves. So they're helpful enough to contact their manufacturer and have them sent over the 16 ounce gloves straight from China. Straight from China. Don't worry, I did sanitize the box before they came in and I quarantined these for about a week. Should be good. So right off the bat, there is a bit of a strong smell to it, kind of like a plastic smell. I don't know if it's the microfiber or if it's the inside, but I am going to keep in mind that these came straight from the factory, so maybe that's why it does have that smell. I'm hoping that if I air these out, that smell would disappear or decrease at least. The gloves themselves have a really nice look to it. They have that Mexican style with a triple cuff look, which is a look, a good look. A lot of glove companies are making Mexican style gloves and it's very popular. So I can't blame them. It's not a bad thing. This double stitching throughout, which should be a golden standard. I think all glove companies should be doing double stitching. If they're not, I wouldn't consider it at all. But these are pretty good. They also have ventilated holes in here, which is uh, handy because holes are great. But I don't know how much of a difference ventilated holes really make. One thing I don't really get is that on the inside, it has this kind of like a faux leather back on the back of your wrist. Don't know how useful that's going to be. Maybe it's supposed to help grip your hands. If you've seen these before in other gloves, let me know what their use is for. It'd be very helpful. Thank you. It is a microfiber glove, it's not leather, so it's very similar to the material you would find in the Rivals, which is like the RS1s. Very similar shine, yeah, very similar in appearance, but the Rivals have more of a grain look to it to make it look more leather, whereas this one is smooth. Now this is microfiber, so uh, the thing with microfiber, they do crease, more so on the inside, the outside is usually fine. Even with these rivals here, the outside are fine, but in the inside, it does have creases here in the middle inside. But, but no one sees that. And what's good about microfiber, especially their metallic microfiber, is that it doesn't fade. I mean, those rivals are about two years old, three years old now, and there's no sign of fading on the actual material. So I'm hoping it's the same case for this one. They do have really long laces, which I would probably replace anyways with elastic laces, that's what I do. Now the inside has a foam cloth lining, so let's try this on. It's a pretty comfortable glove, actually. It's very comfortable. So that foam cloth lining was a nice touch to give you a really comfortable glove. And they do use a multi-padded EVA layer foam with latex lining. So the padding on these gloves are really tough. It's really hard foam. Um, kind of reminds me more of a bag glove than an actual sparring glove. But uh, the RS1s gave me that same problem when I first got those RS1s. They were super hard. Worked them on the bag, broke them in, and now I love them. And they get better each time I use them. I'm hoping that's the same case for these. Because these are sparring gloves, you wouldn't want to spar on a glove that's really rock hard and rock solid. Unless you're okay with losing on meaningful friendships. And because that foam is pretty hard, it is really hard to open up my hand. I can't open it up very much, so this is the most I can open it. It's like catching shots with an open hand, then kind of out of luck on that one. Do one of these, which I do sometimes. Now, having these gloves on, I do notice that the thumb is very long, 
It's also kind of narrow. It does stick out just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that here. I'm gonna do this. See how that bit of an half an inch, an inch poking out like that. I don't really get that with my other gloves. Because it is narrow and long. This could be a poking hazard, might get on the eye, and you might also jam your thumb because it does stick out. If you punch in the wrong angle, you might push your thumb in, causing your thumb to jam in, which feels like could happen. But I'm hoping that's not a problem when I actually use these on the bag and in sparring. But unfortunately, I can't use them right now because we are currently in quarantine. So all I can really do is film myself looking at stuff. But once quarantine ends, I'll make a full review on these gloves, let you know how exactly they are. Now again, if you are planning on buying these, uh, discount code below. They are about 64 pounds, British pounds, which converts to something. And the shipping for outside the UK is $15. Now if you do go on their website, don't feel pressured to buy these right away. There is a sale countdown clock somewhere on the site. Don't be fooled by that because that clock does restart every hour on the hour. I know myself, I felt pressured to buy these right away, thinking that the sale is going to end soon, but it didn't. And that sale price is still there for over a month. But there might be some pressure to get these right away because if you go on their website, these are sold out. But you can pre-order these and get them eventually. But anyways, stay tuned for a full review once we're able to leave the house. Why did it take off? If you have any questions about these gloves, comment below. If you like the video, click like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time.